Hi, I'm going to show you three things that you can make in your waffle maker that aren't waffles. I'm just using a mini waffle maker, but you can use a big one too. Let's get started. The first thing we're going to make is a cheese quesadilla in our waffle maker. You're going to need a tortilla and any kind of cheese you want. We're just using shredded cheese. And you want to take your tortilla and lay it out flat. You want to put your cheese on half. You want to put your cheese on half of the tortilla, like this. And you can do however much you want depending on how you like it. You can add as much cheese as you want, but I'm just going to add a little because the way that I'm doing it is going to be extra cheesy. So then I'm going to fold it in half like this. Take a little bit more cheese and put it on this side so then you can fold it over again. So if you do it this way, it's gonna be a little bit puffy in the waffle maker, so you're gonna need like an oven mitt or something to hold it down. Don't forget to spray your waffle maker with cooking oil. Just set it in, kind of in the middle and push down. Now it's not gonna close all the way, but just take your time and trust me, it's gonna take a little bit longer than a usual waffle would. If you're doing this with a full size waffle maker, mine's a mini one, but if you're using a full size, you are gonna need two tortillas and you can put the first tortilla down, then cheese, and then the second tortilla so you get bigger quesadilla. When you cook your quesadilla, you want to apply a little bit of pressure just because it's like a little bit of a thicker thing. And you also want to check your quesadilla once in a while, but for ours, I think it took about two and a half minutes, but that might depend on how hot your waffle maker is. We should probably take it out so it doesn't get any more messy. You could probably cook yours for a little bit longer, but ours was getting kind of messy with the cheese. So we took it out when it looked like that. And you can just use some tongs to take it out. Time to taste test. Boo's gonna try it too. Mm. Is it good? Yeah. I'm gonna try it. Mmm! Super good. Extra cheesy. Sticking with the cheese theme, for the next waffle item, we're going to be making a grilled cheese. Now, you probably already guessed it, but you're gonna need bread, butter, any type of cheese. I'm just using like a slice and shredded cheese because extra cheesy is good. So yeah, first we wanna butter our bread. Okay, so you probably don't need that much butter, but um, kind of went a little crazy there. So you wanna take your one of your butter sides and put it face down. And then you want to add your cheese. And you want to make sure that your butter sides are facing outwards on the outside of the grilled cheese. And then the other butter side goes up. And then we're gonna put in the waffle maker. Oh wait. But first, spray with cooking spray. Now we're gonna put it in the waffle maker. Again, this is another one where it's really thick. So you want to get your oven mitt or something on your hands so you don't burn yourself and then just kind of push it down. So just like the quesadilla, you want to apply a little bit of pressure so it cooks just because it's thick and you want it to be golden brown. So you see that's not quite ready yet. You can leave it in however long you want um, until it's to your liking. I'm gonna take mine out now. Waffle mold. That looks good. Taste test time, and if you don't like crust and you're using a mini waffle maker, there's a little dent on the outside and you can just pop that off real easy. Three, two, one, go. Mmm, that's super good. What do you think? Good. Good? 
really yummy. Okay, so for this last one, we're going to try something new here, and we've never done this before, cake mix. Now we just have this red cake mix, but it's vanilla flavored, and we're just gonna make the cake mix like usual and see if it goes well in the waffle maker. So we have our bright red cake mix all mixed up here and we did nothing special, just followed the rules on the box. And I'm gonna try using a fourth cup measurement because that's usually what I use for a waffle and put it in the waffle maker. And I'm not sure how this is gonna work cause it looks a little bit runnier than my waffle mix, but we'll try it out. So unlike the other two, this one's pretty thin, so you're not gonna need a push down on it. Basically cook it just how you would with a waffle, except the timing might be a little bit different. We'll see. I'm gonna try checking it and it's been about a minute. Oh, <gasps> wait, oh my gosh, it's working. That looks so cool and the bright red color is awesome. I'm gonna leave in just for a couple more minutes or a couple more seconds, sorry. <laughs> not a couple more minutes. I think it's gonna take a little bit less time than a waffle actually. You do want to make sure that it's cooked all the way through if it has eggs in it because you don't want to be eating raw eggs. Okay, I think it's about done, but I do think I could have used a little bit more batter, so don't be shy with the amount of batter that you use. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm actually so surprised that this worked. We're trying another one with a full quarter cup because I think I could have used a little bit more on the last one. So we're gonna see how this turns out. I think this one's getting fluffy, so I'm gonna check it. Ooh, it, it's looking really good. It should look like a waffle, except ours is bright red when it's ready. Taking out the second one. It's gonna feel a little bit more flimsy than your regular waffle, but that's okay. Okay, we're gonna try the first one we made first because it's cooled off right now. Wait. That is so good. There. We didn't have any frosting or anything, but like, if you do have frosting, you can add it. Highly recommend. Fine. What do you think? Uh, it's good. <laughs> Is it good? So we found some frosting in the pantry actually, and we are going to frost our waffles. And if you're trying this at home too, be sure to be prepared to be making lots of extra cupcakes because you're going to have a ton of extra batter. So these are the cupcakes that we made and we made like five or six waffles I think, but we're gonna frost four of them. This is an ugly waffle, so. I'm not sure if this has ever been done yet, so I'm gonna call it a waffle cake. Waffle cakes. Waffle cakes. Mmm, it's super good. Tastes even better with the frosting. Mm. Waffle, waffle cakes. cakes. Bye guys, I hope you guys liked this video. Be sure to like and subscribe and comment down below what your favorite waffle recipe was.